Hello everyone, welcome to the Beefkin stream. I'm Chicken Eye Eye and with me is Beef Senape. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and today, <laughs> today we're playing the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Uh, and this is part two. We're continuing from last time. So uh, yeah, welcome. I have come back from my busy of work from the barnyard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. She she's fixed whatever uh, Melitok in the barnyard. Yeah. So, and Happy's back. Yeah. <laughs> I was like practically half dead yesterday. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so left your body. Yes. Okay, yes. Let's continue. Yeah. Uh, prepare your eardrums. Yeah, for our horrible, horrible, horrible voice acting. <laughs> I hope freaking Auji doesn't like gets away soon, but this case is like not even half over. <laughs> Hopefully, we can finish one case by tonight. Hopefully, mm, maybe. Oh wait, wait. What? Are you sharing your screen? Oh yeah, I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> I, for <laughs> I forgot that oh. I have to share with you. <laughs> Yeah, that could like Nanti is like you thank you this day again. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> it's just like you say your dialogue and I'm like hmm. <laughs> Oh yes <laughs> <laughs> The lagging. Okay. <clears throat> uh, you can see the screen right? Yep. Yeah and let me see. Does it happen? Is there hmm? Yeah, is there any BGM right now? I uh, no no no, it's like silence. <laughs> Okay, because I can't hear anything yet. Uh, okay, uh, we, should be uh, okay, Court. Uh, should be lah. Okay, 26th, <laughs> 22nd November, 11.38 a.m. Supreme Court of Judic Judicator Defense and... and, and uh, Anti-chamber. Anti-chamber. Like, I was like at an anti-chamber. I'm like, wait, no. Anti-chamber 5. <laughs> hey. It's you. Excellent work, yeah, I know. <laughs> I was just marveling in his uh, 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 amazingness. Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Shows me the, Okay. Excellent work, Ryunosuke. That was superb. Thumbs up. <laughs> oh, it's me. Uh, my heart was in my mouth the entire time. It was almost unbelievable. I mean, looking at you in there. Wait, let me just... I need to fix something, you know? Sure. Try Looking dad. at you in there made me hot! Oh my god. <laughs> Stop! Wait, <laughs> wait, I have to go. I have to fix this so fast. <laughs> Before my partner sure, sure. do something crazy. Wait, uh... Look at the marvelous swaying of my headband. Oh, no, this no, will shit. hypnotize oh, the Okay, fine. Okay, fine. <laughs> Your eyes are poopy. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> you were drenched in sweat. Your eyes popping. Your knees knocking. And you were grinding your teeth. It was a grim sight. But before I knew it, you'd started finding inconsistencies in the testimonies. I think you might have a natural talent for being a lawyer. Forget it, it's terrifying. If I get through this, I don't ever want to see the inside of a courtroom again. <laughs> anyway. It looks like we've exposed your phantom lady at last. <laughs> Miss Giselle Brett, a student from Great Britain, is she? Now, how do you even emphasize the exclamation mark of surprise without even saying the word? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <clears throat> That's can you can you about martial arts? Sorry. Oh my god. I mean. <laughs> Hmm, okay, fine. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. That's what I was trying to tell everyone from the start. Dr. Wilson wasn't alone. There was a young woman with you, like I've been saying all along. Yes, you have. 
haven't you? I mean, Kazuma wasn't even present there. He was like, yeah, ciao. Ciao dulu. <laughs> I go. Tak dengar tu. I won't say a nope, so I go first. <laughs> I might not be overly confident in the courtroom, but my power of observation are one thing I'm sure of. Oh, blaga. <laughs> Tell him, Naegi. Tell him, Naegi. Tell him, Kazuma. Yes. <laughs> I can see that. So, about this young gentlewoman. How do you know the woman's gentle? How can you presume it's gentle? Did you do a questioning? Eh? <laughs> She's not very gentle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why it's like, how do you define a gentle woman? How you can be sure it's a gentle woman, but you don't even talk to her. Gentle Jonathan. Thanks to our detective friend, she was hastily escorted away from the scene, it seems. Did you see what happened with that? I was fucking shocked how to see a lady you disappear from my eyes. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what? Wait, uh, you can read the line first and oh. then I'll tell you. Okay. No, I didn't see anything. No, I didn't see any of it. Yeah, what? Oh, okay. Um, so, my cat was sitting on my lap. Mm -hmm. And earlier, I was being harassed by a beetle. Uh -huh. And then, just now, my cat just jumped away uh -huh. because the beetle was under him. <laughs> yeah. How did he get there? It's like the beetle went from harassing me to my cat. What the heck? Okay, yeah, sorry. Intermission. <laughs> it's the sand. <laughs> I was just on my way out of the restaurant myself, then on the floor next to Dr. Wilson table. I noticed there was a gun laying on the floor, and just after I bent down, hmm, bent down, and pick it up, <laughs> bang! Abe, Abe, bang! Abe, Abe. I didn't have time to think about where the sound of the gunshot had come from. Siapa tadi belagak kata kata I have sharp observation? Di tengah penny, tahu le juga. The way they ran over to me, looking as white as a sheet. And he bundled me into some sort of small pantry next to the kitchen. As thinking by the detective, he apprehended his suspect without a moment's delay. Yes, and because I was shut in the pantry. I have no idea what happened outside in the dining area. Hmm. Is it the old guy? Is, yeah, I think this is Mikotoba. Is it me? I forgot who voiced Mikotoba. Is it me? I don't know. I think it, I think it might be you. Oh, okay, yeah, because I think I think the old man who. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you are. Well done, both of you. Professor Mikotoba, Mikotoba. <laughs> well. It seemed I was right. The pair of you make an outstanding team. You've exceeded my expectation, I have to say. Yeah, it seems you planned this from the start. You arranged things so that I wouldn't be able to act as a lawyer in this trial. Our modern country is still in its infancy. Our justice system, even more so. Which is why I firmly believe that we need to send our brightest young star overseas to learn all they can. I wanted to avoid a situation that may have resulted in your study tour to the Great Britain being cancelled. Well, it makes no difference. Lawyer or otherwise, if I'm the kind of man who can't help his best friend avert the worst crisis of his life, I shouldn't waste everyone's time by going to study overseas anyway. What? What are you saying, cousin? Hmm. So that's your stance. I was afraid you feel that way. Kazuma, maafit ka ako nang ganito ka boys. <laughs> well then, it seems like it all comes down to you, young man. 
to sue me? Yes, you need to prove your innocence and uncover what really took place in the restaurant. I must say, I'm, I very much want to know the truth. After all, I have a personal connection to this case. <coughs> Come to think of it, he said the same thing earlier this morning, didn't he? If you don't mind me asking, Professor, did you know the victim? Yes, I did. As you're probably aware, Dr. John H. Wilson was a visiting professor at UMA, and it was I who invited him. Oh, I, I see. I didn't know that before. Anyway, you are about to go into battle. The victim was a university professor from the Great Britain and a well known one of the and and a well known <laughs> one at that. <laughs> Naturally, our government is looking to identify and punish the corporate as soon as possible. Azuma's already ready for battle. <laughs> But let's not forget who we're going up against. The gentleman whose involvement our... Wait. Whose involvement our police bureau went to extraordinary lengths to hide. I wonder what they say in the Japanese when it text for gentleman. <laughs> gentlewoman. <laughs> yes, I <sure not. laughs> Yukiona. Then we did a line, are you Kiona? You Kiona? No, not that one. Tears. Yes, I'm sure the prosecution will be using the <laughs> prosecution will be using every tool at your disposal to quash to quash your case. Oh why I cannot read suddenly. But I have no <laughs> doubt that you pair will put up a good fight right to the last. It's Best of Friday night. night, guys. We're drunk. <laughs> you mean it's Saturday night? <laughs> it's Friday somewhere in the world. <laughs> okay. I don't think it's already. It's already like Saturday already. <laughs> ah, damn it! <laughs> you want to say Friday should be like early in the morning? Should can still consider Friday. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No then. I need you to run an errand at the university at once. There is something I think we may need. Of course. Wait, how, do, how was her voice again? Of course. course. <laughs> Lady Lick. <laughs> Good luck, Kazuma-sama. Oh my god, we... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think it's me, right? Yeah, you bailiff. Bailiff! Defendant Naruhodo! Court recess is over! Please make your way back inside the courtroom at once! At least you say please, okay. <laughs> please and thank you, Mama! <laughs> XOXO. <laughs> it's time. Let's get back to it, partner. Let's go in there and deal a decisive blow before those old fossils know what's hit them. Mm, what? Thank you. Really. What for? Well, if you hadn't said you believe me, then I'm fairly sure. I already have been found guilty. Bleh. Found guilty by now. <laughs> Did you just say you were fond of me? Oh my god. <laughs> Ew. Look, I have faith in you. As a lawyer and as a friend. And maybe even more. <laughs> 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 from you that means a lot a no homo though <laughs> damn it <laughs> if i'm found guilty in this trial he's really going to give up on his dream of studying abroad 
That's the kind of true friend he is. We all no, need a friend bro, like no. <laughs> no, no, that's not just a friend, dude. Open your eyes. He's still innocent, Shash. So this isn't just my battle anymore. Whoever we are up against, we absolutely cannot afford to lose. Alright then. I'll save the thanks used for after the trial. You can treat me to one of those sukiyaki meals I like from Yume Cafeteria on University Street. Very specific. <laughs> it's a date. <laughs> With an extra large portion, of course. Oh, best thing is a dog, not poor. <laughs> yeah! I would crave for meat right now. Uh... Sukiyaki! Sukiyaki? He said suki. <laughs> Yaki! <laughs> <laughs> 22nd November 12 9pm Supreme Court of Ju Judicator Courtroom 2 Are in the court Are in the court Zawa, 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 zawa. <laughs> The court hereby resume uh, I forgot how does he voice the voice voice again <laughs> Wait, He uh, sounds uh, high <laughs> You feel like <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh yeah the court hereby presumes the trial of Minosuke Naruhodo. I love who I slid the reported type of voice I did for him. <laughs> Prosecutor Ochi, have you managed to subpoena the witnesses? <laughs> Subpoena. <laughs> As your Excellency, against all odds. And thanks to a certain young stripling, the prosecution is now under rather painful scrutiny from the government. <sighs> Sorry. Let the government scrutinize. That's their job. It's nothing to worry about. It's highly unlikely that the good relations we forged with Great Britain will emerge from this trial unscathed. Will you still think it's nothing to worry about when the new treaty breaks down and our nation founders? Again, terribly sorry. If the friendship between our na nations is really so fragile, then shut up! <laughs> then the treaty isn't worth the paper it's written on. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually canon for him to like mess up because he's bad at tongue twisters. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> Wait, is my voice already okay? In uh, it just now I heard okay. Okay, right, nice. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Are you okay? <laughs> <coughs> Alright, just a slight cough. I, mean, oh. uh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Don't if, push yourself. If not, let's go six day. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you really have nothing to worry about, Ryunosuke. What do you mean? A secret trial, anxiety over some foreign government's opinions, a bungled investigation, missing witnesses. Is this what our nation's justice system is? Is this the Supreme Court of Japan or of England? Akumarahni? <laughs> Shut up! Shut up, you jumped up rookie boy! Imagine trying to fight fighting with yourself. <laughs> That's your dream right <laughs> Shut up, you're stupid! You shut up! <laughs> you and your friend know nothing! Nothing of the situation our nation finds itself in. Sorry, Labang. I am not into politics. <laughs> <laughs> By aligning ourselves with the great world power, we'll become strong. Diplomacy has never been more critical. Steady political man maneuvering is what will secure our futures. Is that how you spell maneuver? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. Could be a typo. I don't know. Maybe, could Maybe it's just me. <laughs> Maybe it's just me who's being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. 
I won't deny that I'm no expert. I'm just a student. Yes, I'm a student. Pity on me. <laughs> and one who could arguably study harder too. But standing here right now. But I'm standing here. Oh my god, this reference. <laughs> I realize standing here right now. <laughs> By standing here now in our Supreme Court, there is one thing I feel strongly. A country that fails to uphold the truth in its justice system. It's a country with no future at all. Yeah, tell him, you know, Ske. Tell him, Aye. Well said, Ryunosuke. Despite the white, despite the wide-eyed look of terror, I I think I get it. I think I just see people just automatic. Uh huh. Sometimes it does that. Thank you, Council. This court is the pinnacle of our nation justice system, and exists solely for the pursuance of truth. With that in mind, this trial will now resume with the next witness taking the stand. The visiting student from the Great Britain, Miss Giselle Britt. Can I say a, can I hear yes? <laughs> Hello? Oh what it didn't it didn't hear me? Okay. S. I think I S. S yes. It doesn't hear. It doesn't hear me. Yes. Okay, we get it. Time for the S. I'm like what? I think I said it like five times. What the hell? Your Excellency. Is it up about me now? No. Over there. Is it? No, they actually bring here. Oh wow! This fucking big ass swan hat. What the fuck? And what a delight it is to welcome such a fine gentlewoman to Japan! And from such a distant land! Okay, they are lying about the gentlewoman, but please, the wording. <laughs> <laughs> tea! Someone bring the English tea! In England, no discussion takes place without tea! Oh my god, that's like racist. <laughs> oh, this game's very racist, okay. but they'll slap all the racists in the face, so it's good. <laughs> okay, true. Yeah, we need some crumpets also. <laughs> <laughs> tea and crumpets for everyone. Yes. Would you like some jam in your tea? <laughs> Is that true? It's just me. <laughs> oh wait, shit! You got possessed. <laughs> you got you possessed me. <laughs> That's because it showed Kazuma, so I got confused. <laughs> read the names, son. Read the names. <laughs> Is that true? No, no this idea. Is true. <laughs> <laughs> no. <coughs> Could we possibly trouble you to state your name and occupation for the court? Didn't they already announce us? Name and uh, occupation? <laughs> Just now. I think it's a legal thing where oh. the witness has to state it themselves. Oh, the formality. Even though the judge themselves yeah. said it themselves, I'm like, okay. <laughs> of course. My name is. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a goofy guy. <laughs> My name is Satoru Hosunaga. I have been working undercover as the head waiter at the. Yes, yes, we know all about you already! <laughs> Inspector Hosonaga, where are your manners? In England, it's always ladies first. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> no idea. My <laughs> shit <laughs> on. Uh, More okay. importantly, ignore about the lady. More yeah. importantly, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, fuck the lady, man. I'm gay. <laughs> More importantly, a little earlier today, you said something to me. Uh, that's why, basically, to summarize, <laughs> ignore the lady. But more importantly, <laughs> think a little more. <laughs> you said your powers of observation are one thing you're sure of. Oh yes, I think I did, didn't I? 
Yet your description for this amazing site was simply a woman. Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Yunosuke, but powers of observation aside, your powers of description are sorely lacking. Look at a disappointed okay. baby. Guilty. Oh, dear lady. Once again, if we may trouble you for your name and occupation, please. Sekali lelaki. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so now I got a lady. You what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> Tutup mata pula. Ayo, syai-syai pula. Oh my god, what the fuck? Um, she may be doing it. Um, she may be She's not speaking Japanese. <laughs> I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is the original tech uh, in Japanese. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> let me brief, let me brief. <laughs> He's speaking Simglish. Singaporean. Can lie, cannot lie. <laughs> no, I said Simglish, as in the Sims language. Oh, that no way. I thought it was the animal crossing the language. Oh. Oh. Yeah, do you understand English? <laughs> um, I'm terribly sorry, dear lady, but what? <laughs> we need translate the bitch. He's <laughs> <laughs> like speaking French. <laughs> <laughs> They're both Animal Crossing characters, uh, canon. <laughs> canon confirmed. Oh god, my sight. <laughs> the lady says her name is Giselle Brett. She comes from London, England. Why do I feel like the developer like so lazy so they didn't put any face plate so she just make her wear a mask? <laughs> uh-huh. If I'm not mistaken, her 3D model doesn't have uh, eyes. Okay. <laughs> No wonder. <laughs> I knew it. She's a visiting research student, currently enrolled in Yumei University Medical Faculty. Oh my! What a rare treat to hear the dulcet tones of a delightful language of the British people. I'm afraid I don't understand a word you said, but it was as beautiful as a hummingbird song. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> True. As far as I can tell. The detective is translating her words faithfully enough. <clears throat> yes, I agree. <laughs> you obviously do fine in English, Kazuma. The English doesn't rattle you at all, does it? Nor you. You've clearly been paying attention in your English classes, you know, Ske. <laughs> oh, but sis. The car thanks the beautiful lady for taking the stand. Now, if we may trouble you to confirm something, Miss Brett. Three days ago, at the restaurant called La Carnival, a green murder took place. The court has been led to believe that you were dining there with the victim, Dr. Wilson, at the time. The man offered me free steak. Why I not accept it? <laughs> <laughs> Is that correct? How else is, am I supposed to read that? 
Ha, she whisper lah. Like, it's like it's not even near to the guy. It's like she's like talking in her own tone. Uh huh. He, she's like fuck the guy. Fuck the guy. Space. If he says yes. I mean, she said very long sentence, and the all we get is yes. <laughs> <laughs> This could take some time, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> so even though she's studying here in Japan, she can't speak any Japanese? I feel attacked. Half <laughs> <laughs> This is a personal attack. Yeah, in my workplace. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's basically she cannot see, but she understand, is it? Mm, you'll see. She'd like to apologize for disappearing from the scene. I mean, like the Hosonaga didn't even translate, right? <laughs> like, I guess uh, he's like summarizing. Oh, okay. He says that she was due to make a presentation at the university. So she had to leave immediately. Leave immediately by leaving a half-eaten steak? How dare she? <laughs> Interesting. When you're the one who engineered her escape. I was just following special orders from the Bureau. Well now, dear lady. Would you be so kind as to cast your eyes over this photographic print? Look at this dead body. <laughs> With a steak on it. The one that you didn't finish. <laughs> <laughs> this is your crime. <laughs> Wasting food. Tula. Awamara tau. Seeing as... Oh, I forgot his name. Seeing as you were, so unfortunately present at the scene of the crime. But I think I can I can feel the same as Like imagine you were eating steak but someone got killed in front of you. Comfort like lamu. Okay. <laughs> She left? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> like, <laughs> only a psycho would enjoy still eating a steak while someone got killed in front of her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Professor got shot. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Could it be that your re resplendent eyes caught sight of the wicked perpetrators, perhaps? No, I, feel, oh, I was focusing what? on my steak. <laughs> Resplendent? <laughs> I don't know the English. I don't even do it. What the fuck does that mean? Chris? Uh, do, do elaborate what done. Do yeah, learning with the beacons. Oh Resplendent. God. Attractive and impressive through being richly colorful or sumptuous. What the fuck is sumptuous? Sumptuous, splendid, and expensive looking. So it's just a word to like keep us bunto orang. Ah. Yeah, basically fancy words lah. Yeah, it, uh, the synonyms are splendid, magnificent, brilliant, dazzling, glittering. You get the point. Ah, <laughs> lah. They want to make look good. Good opinion on the Britons. Yeah, it's self racist. <laughs> Apparently, it was very frightening and sorrowful sight. Do you mean to say? Yes, it would appear the lady did witness the crime. No, she sure, sure. She was eating her meat, man. <laughs> <laughs> the very moment when the accused, standing right there in this courtroom, Shot the victim in cold blood. That may be a bit Order, order in the court. Oh, finally he said the word. <laughs> order. One McDonald's cheese burger, please. What you want? Please, <laughs> cut you. Itu lain dah tu itu mama. Ikat tepi. Ikat tepi. Ikat tepi. <laughs> did, did you hear that, Your Excellency? Here 
we have an absolutely conclusive witness statement. Well, it looks like it's clear now. Clear who our real enemy is. Yeah, it's the lady, it's the gentlewoman. <laughs> Unfortunately, I will have to ask you to formally testify, if you please. Currently tells the court the exact nature of this frightening and sorrowful sight you described. How are you? What? How are you going to witness testimony? Her. Her, her animal crossing talk. <laughs> uh, they do what they do. <laughs> oh, okay, she, he's gonna translate. Yes. I can't. I had, arranged, <laughs> I had arranged to meet for a slightly late luncheon with Dr. Wilson that day. The professor was unable to eat, so I ordered for myself only a beef steak. Professor Janet so she can eat beef steak, but I cannot. <laughs> After a while, the accused came over to greet the professor, and they got into a fierce argument. Terus, kita pati. Aku ketuk kan liar. Oh tak ada. No evidence. I think you have to wait until they finish first just to see lah what to say. A British exchange student. Tak no, tak nak mengalor. Then, not long afterwards, the accuser took the professor's gun and shot him right before my eyes. I don't carry a gun myself. So obviously, I couldn't have been the culprit. What Fuck if... you, there's so much space to hide a gun yeah, in your like, dress. Like that swan over there. Very soft. Yeah, in your dress, in your hair, in your hat, in, in your, your boobas. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say that. And even your buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. Terkeja, sis. No, terkeja, bro. <laughs> no. I didn't have any kind of argument with the professor at all. Quiet, you filthy wretch! Oh, apa ni ah? Feminist je dari kita. Sexist. Look at you, you black-hearted blackguard! And look at this snow white angel! Nak tengok, dia compare, dia compare. She's an incel. Yeah. I'm sure even a dark-minded scoundrel like you can imagine whose word the court is going to believe. No. <laughs> You're still making the same mistakes, Bunosuke. You mustn't blurt out when you're goaded like that. That's a lesson you need to learn. Ugh, but he's so annoying. I was at the scene as well. <laughs> I took statements from this lady and the two witnesses who testified before and reported back to the bureau. It was decided that Miss Barrett was not involved, so I let her go. It wasn't the truth, but they decided it. Oh my god, no fair. <laughs> The testimonies of the last two witnesses were completely worthless, however. Well, even so. On the day in question, the lady was wearing the same outfit as she is today. As you can see, there's nowhere on her person where she could conceal a firearm. Uh, I mean, excuse me? Those packages. <laughs> those heavy packages, <laughs> you can put something there. You can see why he needs glasses, I guess. <laughs> yeah. It's like you can see the I, swan over there. You see the humps over there. Mm -hmm. And the hair over there. 
<laughs> just for the record, I love Hosonaga. Hosonaga. I just like making fun of him too because he's such an idiot. <laughs> Aren't they? How I would think she could hide a gun almost anywhere in that outfit if she wanted to. <laughs> precise <thing>. unless <laughs> I know right. Unless and until the precise location where the witnesses to have hidden a weapon can be shown, this is moot. There are no pockets in my outfit. I have nowhere to hide a gun. Excuse me, miss. Those heavy packages that I see could have some gap there for pocket. <laughs> God. Wow. Well, Those are mean... the witnesses' own words on the matter. I mean, what if she isn't even packaging? She's like putting something to make it look packaged. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's ridiculous. If only I was allowed to lift up her dress, I could prove it. <laughs> Don't think about doing anything rash, Ryunosuke. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't find the gun I picked up. There must have been another gun there that day. You're right about that. Which means, this lady was hiding a gun somewhere. Could be a lake. Nose. Yeah, she, she got two legs. She could have like gun heels like Bayonetta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, that's what we have to prove now. And to do so, we will need to pull her testimony apart. Look at her smirk. She's smirking, mom. Mom, she's smirking. <laughs> the defendant may have now cross exam the witness. Oh yes, Your Excellency. It's examination. Oh yeah, you said <laughs> you said just now like mom she's smoking right. That reminds me of a uh, one time I went to a movie. And it was like a sad scene where the, the the character died. Then the main character found a video of the character who died, like mm -hmm. saying good, uh, saying like, he was happy, whatever lah. It was a sad scene. Then like the whole theater was crying, and there was a kid right behind me, huh? and she he was like, ah, dia dah mati kan? Dia dah mati kan tadi? Dia mati, dia mati kan? Kenapa dia ada balik? I'm like, oh my god, he's ruining the scene for like literally everyone who can hear him. <laughs> yeah, yo, mak dia senyum mak reminded me of that. I think that mom was like guilty. Like, this one's a different kind of smirk. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. I, I just can't. My Betul brain is like... That time, man. Nak aku matikan kau ke? <laughs> Kau diam sekarang. <laughs> Bali sleeper. <laughs> oh my god. This is why you don't bring kids in the cinema. Unless they do. I was just like crying and then tiba-tiba hilang -tiba mood gila. I'm just like god damn it. <laughs> is it an English movie or a Japanese movie? Uh English one. What movie was it? Uh, as spoilers, I guess, for those who maybe haven't watched it, uh, watched it, Big Hero 6. Hero 6? Big Where Hero 6. Wait, let me see. No, yeah. Baymax. Oh, do you one, know yeah. Baymax? Oh, yeah. I yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. The one where Tadashi came back. I mean, like, the, the video of Tadashi from Baymax punya, like, records. Ah. Uh, yeah, mean, we were all die, just... Right? Wait, is it like Yeah, what? I mean... Uh, well, in the movie, he died, but I think there's a series that's like hinting that he's alive or whatever. I thought he could, so I don't know. Oh, is that like a spin off? It's the hero one, right? The when they, it's like a series, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like a cartoon series, but I never watched it. I only watched the movie, so I don't know. <laughs> Same, I only watched the movie, so I thought it was already ended over there. Hmm, because it was so popular, so they had to make a series. Ah, as usual, milking the industry. No, building the series. The, the series looked good though, but I, I didn't watch it. Like the art lah. No, do I don't know about the Netflix? stories. Have I have no idea. I never tried looking. Okay. I only watched Jojo on Netflix. Yeah, understandable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, um, what the hell could it be? Ordered beef steak. Okay. After a while, the accuser came over to greet Professor and they got into a fierce argument. Oh, yeah, uh, I guess we can press. Mm -hmm. Press. Hi. Well, hello there. Oh, wait, I forgot yeah, to read my that. lines. <laughs> <laughs> what? I forgot. Let my brain go autopilot. <laughs> You're reading it in your mind. Yes. Please, don't get angry with me. No, 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 no. I wasn't directly the retort at you. It was meant for the lady next to you. But anyways, as I said, I did not argue with the professor. I'm afraid your words are in vain. Sorry? Miss Brett does not appear to speak Japanese. But she can understand Japanese? <laughs> no, no, of course not. Japanese is such a cumbersome language anyway. Alamak, this guy. Uh... English is the future. <laughs> we must all speak English. Mm, doubt. What mm, am I no. doing? No. Ouchie! <laughs> Get away from here! Mmm, doubt. Mmm, English is sweet to your ass. Stop. I wonder if the prosecution will feel that way forever or only in the presence of a beautiful woman. Kazuma is so not impressed. Mm. I know, right? Kazuma is so done with the shit. Well, that beautiful woman is telling blunt lies with a completely straight face. I mean, she doesn't even have a face. Or even an eye. It's just hollow. <laughs> I have to find something that will unravel her testimony, no matter how seemingly insignificant. Insignificant. Bleh. Insignificant. Bleh. <laughs> I cannot read. <laughs> insignificant, it may be. <laughs> she wasn't even speaking anything. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it seems that after the argument, the accuser briefly returned to his own seat. That part ties in with what you said, doesn't it? Yes. I still had some coffee to drink. Who the fuck would like, after an argument, would sit and drink coffee calmly? <laughs> Bodo. <laughs> I got so angry, I, uh, I messed up and thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. And the next time you got up after that, a bong was when I finished my coffee and stood up to leave. You know, takkan nak apa itu muka itu berjam kan? Full man. Di senyum eh, ma di senyum, ma di senyum. Ma takut. Oh my god. Ma kenapa dia senyum ma? I think we can press the one where he said, uh, she said she was eating steak though. Oh, for steak? Uh huh. I think that was two two statements ago. Oh, one more, I guess. Yeah. For steak? <laughs> she was unable to eat, you see. And that was because he. He just had a tooth removed at the Horror Clinic, correct? That's right. Mm, <laughs> you're supposed to actually check with the witness before answering? <laughs> Was Miss Brett aware of that fact? It seems so, yes. She'd heard. Professor was to have some dental treatment. It seems so, wasn't a confident yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, if you don't remember, say you don't remember. So that would mean... That it was... It was you who ate the steak pictured here. Is that right, Miss Brad? They were like, they were like, they were like, they Right. Yes. 
The print you have there shows the table exactly as it was left after the horrifying events. Then again, bukan that area is like the professor punya seat ke? Why is it on his side of the table? Kan, you kata you yang makan tapi tempat dia duduk. Oh. Yeah, that's the thing. Very sus. Cover up. Exactly as it was left. Really, what a harrowing experience to have traveled a distant island to a distant island on the far side of the world and be embroiled in such a tragic incident. Have no fear, my dear lady. I swear I will crush the evil fiend that has subjected you to this terrible plight. So the victim, Dr. Wilson, had nothing to eat or drink at all? That's right. Other than some carbonated water. Just water? Yes. The professor was unable to eat, but he had been given permission to drink water. So. It appears that the dinner diners toasted their lunch with a glass of water each. How do you toast it? I thought that was wine. <laughs> Same. <laughs> hmm. They raise each other. They, they each. Yeah. Hmm. They each raise a glass of carbonated water. What do you think, Ryunosuke, about the witness's last statement? It's. Very meaningful. Very meaningful. That last statement of yours, Miss Brett, has a profound beer bearing on this case. Very well. Fascinating. Do tell us, what is this profound bearing? Hmm? The significance of the statement will become apparent when the time is right. The defense calls for the witness's last statement to be formally added to the testimony. <laughs> well, sidestepped counsel. Very well, Miss Brett. Can you repeat what you said to be added to your official testimony? Gladly, she said. Hmm. It's you. Oh, I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant, Kazuma. I'm going to remember that one. Which one? The significance will become apparent when the time is right. I could really use that phrase. I'd hope there are more useful tips you're picking up from this experience than that, you know, Ske. <laughs> He's so sassy. <laughs> Disappointed. Oof. So, any thoughts? Um, uh, we have to press, uh, press this statement. This one. Yeah. The one they just added. So, both you and the professor drank this carbonated water, did you? Being the waiter, I poured two glasses myself. I clearly remember doing so. Except you're actually a detective. And the beef steak. That was for you, Miss Brett. The lady says that she'd heard it was not customary to eat beef here until Japan has opened. Op what? <laughs> what? <laughs> to eat beef here until Japan opened its doors to the world. I just forgot how to read. <laughs> yes, that's true. What a frightful place, is the lady's opinion. Uh, 
and I've heard it's not customary to eat sashimi in the Great Britain. Now this... Now that's frightful. Every country has its own cuisine. As long as people have food to eat, what does it matter what it is? True. Come to think of it. The first time I tried carbonated water, it was much more of a shock than the first time I tried beef. But anyways, back to this witness's statement. Somehow, I feel like there's something out of place in the... And there's something out of a place in what she's saying. We need to pounce on even the slightest thing now. Because you never know what might lead us to our goal. Our goal of turning this trial around. I understood, Kazuma. Mm, how do we prove? Because she said she said she only drank one glass, but then later they said they toasted. Yeah. Do we have evidence for that? Wait, wait. Let me let me read the text first. Okay, okay. Oh, boleh press code. They changed it. Oh, which one? A uh, second one. Mm -hmm. Before this, uh, she she said the professor had a glass of water, and now they changed it to cheers. No. Oh wait, can we have a timeout for a while? I, I want to cook something. I, if not, I want to fall asleep. <laughs> sure, sure. Give me a moment. Give me like five minutes. Do 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 do. I'll be right back. Ah, uh, sorry, we were caught up in the uh, in the game. Akai the Firebird. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Uh, Akai the Firebird said. Classic Phoenix Fright Ancestor, Ryu no Suke Naruhodo, getting accused of murder in the first game of the series. Exactly, I know, right? He even has an Edgeworth, yes, as every um, Naruhodo should. <laughs> uh, I really love Ace Attorney. <laughs> How are you enjoying the stream so far? Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do. Intermission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The BGM is so pretty. As with all of the Phoenix Wright games. Or I guess uh, this is Ace Attorney. <laughs> this is... What? Uh, he doesn't have a localized name, right? He's just from Yunosuke. I forget. Or as... Um, I think... I think when it was announced, one of the gaming... Uh, game announcement channels called him Ryanosuke. <laughs> Ryan! I only know this because I watched another, another playthrough of The Great Ace Attorney. I just watch everything, honestly. But I haven't finished uh, the case. I, I did back in the day when it wasn't translated yet. But I don't remember anything. I wonder what Sinapi's cooking. She did say she was hungry earlier. Do, 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 do. 
Whoa, my internet spiked up to the lag. <laughs> so how y'all today? I hope it's been a good day. Here where I'm living, it's been rainy these past few days. So easy to feel under the weather, literally. All the wetness and dampness. And it's super cold at night. I mean, like, obviously not as cold as winter, but I've never experienced winter, so I think I'll just shrivel up and die if I were ever to get, like, snow outside. Like, even with the rain, I'm already, like, crippling. <laughs> so take care out there for those who are unstable with the weather at the moment. I feel like a lot of things are unstable in the world at the moment, so it's nice just to have an escape by playing a game. Right? I wonder how long Sinapi is going to be gone. Do 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 do. Hey, the mouse is moving. Sinapi, are you back? There's a ghost! A ghost is moving the mouse! Really one for a small top, am I? I guess I'm just going to ramble about. I really like Kazuma and Hosonaga, and I'm really glad that Hosonaga is like a recurring character. I might have to change his voice because that Batman voice is literally shredding my throat. I regret. <laughs> Even though I know, I knew he was going to appear multiple times. He's such a dork, but he's like a lovable dork. And Kazuma is just like a sass queen, man. I love his sass and his just like no bullshit vibe. I'm well aware of what will happen in the next case. And uh, kind of the cases after that. Like, even though I don't really have much memory anymore about like uh, the cases themselves i do remember like the outcome of them and also you can't really get away of, from uh, well, quote unquote spoilers if you're ever in the fandom like on twitter or anything i see fan art of kazuma and uh and a, a later character which we will meet and also of course with ryunosuke Personally, I think Kazuma should be with Rinosuke. But, like, you know, I mean, like, they're they're much sweeter to each other. <laughs> okay, Matase. But that's just me. Oh, hello, welcome back. Uh, you know. What did you cook? <laughs> Maggie Milo. <laughs> Maggie. Maggie. Maggie Milo. 
<risa> Mira, yo te matiné. Oh, God. <risa> Ok, no, I cannot be half a seat. <laughs> so you might hear some slurping along the way. So, both uh, you and the professor drank this carbonated water, did you? I'm sorry, something was like biting my butt. What the fuck? <laughs> yes! Being the waiter, I poured the two glasses myself. I clearly remember doing so. Wait, I think he said this before, what? Uh, except you're actually a ticket. Ah, yeah, I think so. Maybe we have to present something. Yeah. So, can we skip <laughs> this way? Wait, that was for you? The lady said she'd heard it was not customary. Yeah, I think um, it's the same thing. Yeah, uh, I think maybe we should present the picture of the yeah. steak because, uh, yeah. uh, but I don't know where. Okay. But yeah, counting first try. <laughs> that face, I cannot. Oh, I didn't set a timer. I mean, we just How wish, long? wish we can settle what, one case or something? Hopefully, or near the end? Nah, <laughs> no, we're not. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> so. Okay. I do not know. Not long afterwards. Uh, uh. Yeah, I think we can present the picture code because there's only one glass in there, I think. Oh, oh wait, shit. I forgot the controls. <laughs> right? Is it? Yeah, wait. Eh. I mean, we only have like one shot only, like not the full image. Uh, we have a picture of the steak, right? Yeah. Or the but... table? Yeah. There, but... there. On yeah, the I right. Know. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, this one. Oh, maybe we can present this instead then. Oh, yeah. Hi. That's it! Let me just confirm something, please. It's to do with this photographic print. Oh my god, I have to explain that. <laughs> Just a short while ago, you spoke of the print showing the victim's table at the crime scene. That is was exactly as it was left. Correct, the lady says. Well, that is... it's, um, it's odd, very odd. Amy! What's odd is the difference in defense's inability to express itself. Ugh. You know, Ske, what is it about the print that looks odd to you? There was a knee in it, eating steak. <laughs> <laughs> a steak. It's obviously, it's, it's the cheers. Hooray! The cheers! The cereals! <laughs> hip hip Miss Brett just told us that she and the professor said cheers over a glass of water. Maybe it's an invisible glass. <laughs> but if it's that's true... There should be uh, two glasses on the table, not one. Oh! oh. You are quite right, Council. There's only one glass picture there. Are we supposed to be impressed by the this nitpicking over a mini, 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 <laughs> mini, 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 
What does it mean? Min Minuchie? <laughs> uh, time to Google, wait. Yeah. Hey Google, what's Minuchie? <laughs> Minuchie is the Japanese word Oh, it's pronounced minutiae. It's small, precise, or trivi trivial details of something. Oh. My minutiae. Minutiae. It sounds like minutiae. <laughs> minutiae. What possible difference does the presence or absence of the glass on make on the case? <laughs> uh, who gave him a prosecutor badge? Take it away. My new TA, you say? Could it be that the detective here removed a glass from the table to conceal the lady's presence? Of course not. I would not do something so reckless. I mean, he did just <laughs> took away the lady. That is reckless. I know, right? Hosanaga, what? But there should be have been two glasses on the table. Or are you going to? Or are you going to try to tell me you can clink with only one? <laughs> wow, that's a skill I would want also. Hmm, <laughs> you're quite right. I certainly took two glasses to the table. Tengok ada panas dah. Inspector, what did the lady say? Otro lady. <laughs> it was seem that Miss it was Miss Brett who took the glass from the table. <laughs> what? Sus. Sus you fucker. It was also terrifying. Everything that happened. <laughs> She's gonna bush it and say she panicked. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I panicked and thought I should try to hide the fact that I'd been there at all. <laughs> She's saying. <laughs> she got ties with the government. Okay. Good gracious. Why not goodness gracious? <laughs> <laughs> no goodness, just good. Okay, good, good. Kala, pakai blood. Tayo lah. Mengada. Oh my god, she has voice now. I mean, like, <laughs> she has lines now. <laughs> Sorry. <gasps> She's I should, I should make her sound more British, huh? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna laugh because of that. I might die. <laughs> Yeah, prepare to witness my shit ass <laughs> British accent. Yes, I assured the court before. This is of no consequence at all. Oh, please. We must remember that the student had just murdered this lady's luncheon companion before her very eyes. Who could blame her for concealing a glass or two in her state of disarray? You said you can't carry anything. Where did you take the glass? But <laughs> all I'm like, no way to hide. I guess the butt hole goes. Uh, as long as it has a base. Yes. Clenching <laughs> with a butt cheeks. Oh god, no. <laughs> That's absurd. Oh, uh, really? So, do we take it that you are now going to accuse this vulnerable, young and beautiful woman of mischief? Yeah, putting the, the crime scene, ma, you... I, I didn't know... Ah, arrest her, oh my god. No, 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 this... This can't be down. No, this can't be put down to mischief. I'd like to know. Exactly how the lady took the glass from the scene. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Sorry is the only thing you can understand. Back to being the sim. <laughs> <laughs> 
It would seem that she slipped it into a small handbag she was carrying. Tadi kata tak ada poket. Ini ada handbag. Mana tu? Sipak ni. Marah ni, marah ni. Memang nak sepak ni. A handbag you say? Yes, Your Excellency. A small handheld pouch commonly carried by a well-to-do woman in England. So, the beautiful lady has very graciously explained how and why she removed the glass from the scene now. I mean, she didn't explain the man explained for her. <laughs> <laughs> but she didn't... What? Uh, that tells us nothing. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. However, the fact remains that this glass has absolutely no bearing on this case. <laughs> This student has been trying to confuse the court with logical reasoning. <laughs> but in the end, it comes to nothing. What the fuck? You're, just, you're saying his reasoning is logical, but he didn't argue. What are you saying? You can do two students. So which student does he mean? Okay. You can't lie. Okay. No more pretentious accusations. You have wasted enough time already. Indeed, the lady has offered a satisfactory explanation as to why she removed this glass. Yang ni pula tu, nampak tu aku. I think henceforth we can consider the matter to have no bearing on the case, but it's tampering the crime scene. Exactly, that's so bullshit. Okay. Or at least show us the glass or something. something I know, right? For the defense, are you in an agreement? Um, uh, well, I don't know really. If you want to pursue this matter further, you're going to need to show that it has some deeper significance. Deeper. Yes, you're right. No, but that did. <laughs> <laughs> she took the glass away in her handbag. If there's a deeper significance, there is. It's the glass. Okay. The glass? Yeah, the glass actually the glass. I guess so. Oh wait. If you ask me, it's the fact that she took the glass that has a deeper significant significant here. Whatever. <laughs> Why do you think that? Her DNA. <laughs> because it's the property of the restaurant. It's not some harmless act of pilfering, like taking a bar of soap from the public bath, is it? Did you take a bar, a bar of soap from the public bath? What the fuck? Free soap! Ew. <laughs> 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 you take soap from public baths? Why don't you say so? If you can about, you can shower at my place. <laughs> <laughs> yes, free soap forever. <laughs> what? No, I mean, uh, this is a significant here. It's very significant, but this isn't the time or place. We we'll talk about this later at my place. <laughs> <laughs> there are more important things to concentrate on now. I think maybe you should reconsider your position too. Uh, sorry, I will. <laughs> Indeed, the lady has offered a set. Satis <laughs> a satisfactory. Satisfactory. <laughs> satisfactory explanation as to why she removed this glass. Oh wait, it is the same. Oh, uh, I guess that was the wrong answer. <laughs> back, good. Yeah, and back. Yeah, maybe it's the back. Wait. 
the lady put the glass in her handbag, you say? Yes, do try to keep up. <laughs> try to keep up, mate. <laughs> It's already been explained to the court that all English gentlewomen carry handbags for small items. But glasses are big. <laughs> oh, gila. Put your bow like a wine glass in your handbag. Wow. I mean, I would do that. Like, <laughs> I mean, like, any time is for wine time. <laughs> yeah, but you're not an English gentlewoman who just potentially committed murder. <laughs> Damn, I wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. A little while ago, Miss Brett stated the following. There are no pockets in my outfit. I have nowhere to hide a gun. But what if she forgot to mention was her handbag? In which it would be perfectly possible to conceal the gun. You're right. I was a bodo sign. <laughs> Well done, partner. I had a feeling you'd pick up on that too. Not the soap, though. <laughs> what are you insinuating, you vile blackguard? It's really very simple. Try to keep up, mate. <laughs> The gunshot was heard when the defendant picked up the gun. Wait, oh my god, I don't know why I suddenly I can't read. The gunshot was heard when the defendant picked up the gun from the restaurant floor. As he didn't fire that gun, we can deduce there must have been another firearm at the scene. The true murder weapon, if you will. You... you can't seriously be suggesting! Inspector, who's another? <laughs> yes. Did you or did you not search Miss Giselle Brett's handbag on the day of the murder? No, sir. I did not. Why the fuck, though? As I thought. In other words, another gun, there is one that was actually used to kill the professor. Could have been hidden in Miss Brad's handbag. I mean, she could just take it away anyways. <laughs> I know, right? What if she just like ran out of the <laughs> restaurant with a gun? Like, she didn't have to have a handbag. <laughs> Okay. Just carrying it. I don't know lah. So silly. Their system, their logic makes no sense. But I that's mean, the beauty of it. I mean, can like the murder happened yesterday, right? I mean, on for that. Yeah, yeah. In game yesterday, I think. Yeah, she basically could just uh, throw out, throw away the gun, man. So. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm order. It's order. Moody. Order. Na mac 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 cheese <laughs> What is the meaning of this, Inspector? Oh no, my my Skittles! Bruh, be careful. You're eating Maggie with Skittles? <laughs> no, no, I, I'm just done with my Maggie, but I was want to eat, take one Skittles and I don't know where it went. Shit. <laughs> Skittles. Skittles soup? No, I mean like it bounces. I don't know where it went. I don't want ants to attack my room. What is uh, that? Uh. Ants means you're cursed. Mm. You have been cursed with the ants. Ants up your ass, every crap. If, wait, where the fuck is it? <laughs> oh my god. Good luck searching for the M&Ms. Uh, <laughs> a bird, sorry. Bro. That was a demon. <laughs> <laughs> Clue a shaitan. What is the meaning of this inspector? What is the meaning of this inspector? Hey, you found it. Nice. 
Rest in peace, M&M. Eat makan. Wash it and eat it, man. You know, it's full of dust <laughs> and trash and dusk. But it has a protective chocolate coating layer. No, it's, it's candy, it's Skittles, man. There's no chocolate there. <laughs> well, it still has a protective layer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this one you already read? Yeah. The meaning of what? Executor Ouchie. Why on earth did you not have the lady open her handbag and show you the contents at the time? Thanks to your bungling incompetence, now she has to endure these uncomfortable accusations. Brilliant work, partner. Now we have the chance to expose the real woman behind the mask. Except they won't show us her face. <laughs> Do you think so, Kazuma? <coughs> oh, sekarang budak batu. No, my boy is dying. Well, what a sorry situation. Clearly, you have no faith in the police. You're a detective. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I did not search the lady's handbag after the shooting. Simply because it Hello, was Mom. unnecessary. It was necessary. What the fuck? <laughs> unnecessary. Unnecessary in what way? I ought to thank the student lawyer, really. I have a piece of evidence here that I completely forgotten about. What the fuck? <laughs> He's so cute though. This photographic print. Look at this photograph. A handbag! Oh, wow, it's a visual. <laughs> uh. This print of a, is of a photograph where... This print is of a photograph that I thought would be prudent to take immediately after the shooting. As you can see, it clearly shows Miss Brett's handbag. No, well, I never. You can see right through to what's inside. Then, man, this is not even a handbag anymore. This is like a flexing bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's a fishnet. Apparently, meshwork bags like these are the height of fashion in London at the moment. Write it out, write it out, write it out. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, it's a the... thong. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> it's emergency thong. <laughs> <laughs> so the contents are clearly visible. Exactly. So there was no need to search the lady's handbag. If there had been a gun inside, it would have been immediately obvious. Ah. As you can see, there's nothing to imply Miss Brett's guilt here. Go away. Thank you for helping to prove that, Naruhodo san. <laughs> no, Kazuma's looking at it. <laughs> Naruhodo. Order. Order. Inspector Hosonaga, you will submit the print as evident at once. Kashikomarimasta. <laughs> Certainly, Your Excellency. The photograph of the handbag has been entered into the court record. I'm just curious of the the hands, though. It's like I saw like some spots on the John hmm. palm. Hmm. Maybe think... we can look at it later. Okay. Wait, we can look at it now. Oh yeah, court record. Blink. It's a tattoo! Is it? <laughs> no, I don't know. It looks like a bullhorn. Uh huh. What the fuck is the glass? 
Man, that's... Imagine me having a handbag just put your wine glass in it. Cold shit. That's a new way to flex. Yes. I think you had long enough to cross-examine the witnesses' counsel. The judge has now been shown considerable evidence. As the photographic print just submitted into the court record appears to have no further significance. I am satisfied there is no longer any room for doubt in this matter and I must make my ruling. Indeed. And there is only one logical conclusion. That the pathetic rookie slumped over there, benched before us, is the only possible perpetrator of this crime. No. No. Just when I thought I was beginning to turn things around, I'm in a worse situation than I was at the start. Mm, Kazuma? I'm sorry, Yunosuke. <laughs> it's the dildo. Bruh. <laughs> now that the cross-examination of the witness is over, there's no way to force the trial to continue. What? You you mean this is... Dot, dot, dot. I think uh, Miku and the Professor Mikotova is gonna bring us something, right? <laughs> in, in oh, yeah, yeah. Because it's like, go fetch me that thing. It's important or something. Mm. Mm -hmm. I forgot about her. <laughs> They might appear any second now, any moment now, any moment now. If I, I was what the hell is this? Is this a laugh? <laughs> <laughs> I must say, you put up quite a fight for a rookie student. But the weak are meat while the strong eat. <laughs> you are wasting your time. There is no way to defeat true justice. This guy's insane! Yes, power lad. A f that you can chew onto your heart's content from the inside of your cell. This can't be happening. Am I really going to be found guilty of a crime that I didn't commit? And Kazuma. His dream of going to study in Great Britain will slip through his finger. What? Is, is there really is there really no chance now of turning this trial around? You heard the judge. There's nothing about that last photograph the detective produced that we can contest. Which means there's no basis on which we can argue for the trial to continue. Proceed immediately to the ruin. It seems we will be able to report to the British government on time after all. Fuck this guy. <laughs> That's smug little. You know, Noski Naruhodo, having considered all of the evidence. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Your Excellency. You know, Ske? I, I don't think you can rule on this case yet. Idiari! This amateurishness is getting tedious. When His Excellency deems the trial is over, he gives his ruling. That is the most basic protocol of the courtroom. He has a, like, a sleeveless glove, what the fuck? Oh, uh, he has a handguard because he does archery or something, I think. Oh, man, you even wore that in court. <laughs> Take them <laughs> all, man. <laughs> Your Excellency, just a moment ago you said this. As the photographic prints just submitted appears to have no further significance. There is no longer any room for doubt in this matter, and I must pick my ruling. Now that means if I... Now that means... 
Now that means that if there was a problem with the evidence, some significant details I mean, that ruling on the case at this time would be out of the question. Then, this is blatant straw clutching! Look at this photographic print! Them hands, man, them hands! All it shows is that the handbag the gentlewoman was carrying on the day in question! Bro, mata buta eh. Tengok tangan eh. Look at this photograph! There can be no problem with this evidence! You'd better know what you're doing, Ryunosuke. Hmm. I understand your objection, counsel. Certainly, the new evidence submitted by the detective has not undergone... ...has not undergone the court's scrutiny. However, I fail to see how we can glean any new information from this handbag. My thoughts exactly! Really? The prosecution is becoming tired of this rookie's desperate wheezes. Yes, I'm desperate, but this isn't a wheeze. There is something about this photograph which just doesn't seem right. If only I could put my finger on it. It's a photograph you can. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, I will grant the defense one final opportunity. What? But be warned that if I am unsatisfied by your response here, the trial will be over with the immediate effect. Do I make myself clear? Oh my god, can I get a get a Can I bonk? Yes, you excellent. Bonk! So, take another look at the photographic print inspector Hosonaga submitted before. You will identify for the court where is the screen we see. He's become singlish too! <laughs> X, Y. Bang! Look at this here. There's a very unusual mark on this victim's wrist. That is true. He looks almost like a burn of some description. Dear me, I was pondering what new piffle piffle you would come up with. A burn, you say, on the victim's wrist? Clearly that has nothing whatsoever to do with the magnificent lady's handbag. Yes, that is a burn mark. You're right. Go on, Inspector. The police coroner also noticed it when he was performing the post-mortem examination. It was, determined, it was deemed unrelated to the cause of death, so he didn't take note in his report. What did I tell you? In any case, we have no idea when the victim suffered this burn, do we? And no possible way of knowing either. The more I look at this, the more I find myself intrigued by the curious shape of this mark. However, a prosecutor Algis points out that uh, a fur connection to the case can be shown. I cannot allow the further time to be spent on the precise details of this burn. Excuse me, Your Excellency. It would seem Miss Brett has a lunch appointment with the Dean and other university staff. Oh my god! Ever. Janganlah appointment sekarang kau bodoh ke apa? Hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she would like to know if she may be excused from the stand now. No. <laughs> oh, of course, of course, dear lady. We shan't hold you up any longer. Apa ni? Bestnya dapat boleh apa excuse di daripada court. <laughs> You're not the judge. I'm quite sure His Excellency is about to give his final ruling anyway. What's your thinking on this, Ryunosuke? 
Do you believe this burn has something? Do, uh, do you believe this burn does have something to do with the case? To be honest, I'm not really sure. But if I don't keep pushing, then it's all over. So I was thinking I should keep digging and digging in the hope that I might uncover something useful. Hmm. Yes, you're right. I am? If we can't just link the burn to the... If we can just link the burn to the case, if we can do that, we might be able to prise this shutting door back open again. Just give up, Council! You can't possibly hope to do that! Indeed, I'm afraid that without evidence, I can't allow you to pursue what is more than the con conjecture. But if we had evidence... Evidence that irrefutably links the burn mark on the victim's wrist to the case, then you would allow it? I would, yes. To tell the truth, I hadn't noticed that burn. But as soon as you pointed it out, what I did notice was the color draining from Miss Brett's face. Did he have some kinky play or something? <laughs> what? I mean, yeah, the burn marks, mm, sus. Oh, yeah, oh my god. Really? Rosoku. I have to find something between the burn and the case. This is the moment of proof. It's time to find some evidence that prove that the burn really means. So then, the defense will now present its evidence to the court. I know the answer to this one, so I'm not gonna tell you unless you ask me to. <laughs> I mean, any hints? <laughs> um, it's got something to do with the previous pictures. This one? You can look at it first. And, uh, uh, the the previous pictures, I mean. Wait, uh... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Now I know. Okay. Yeah. Was this scolding hot? Did he like? Why yeah, was it's he like pressing... a hot. Yeah. Why did they it's press? It's like a hot pot. <laughs> the sizzling one. Why did they press his wrist on there? Oh. That means the body's been moved. Oh. Eh. Okay, I'm right? Because he got shot like facing away from the stake. Yeah. But his hand was like that means he died while his hand was like on the burning thing because it's such a clear mark. Ah. It's stake. What's this console? Yes, yeah, another print. Yes, Your Excellency. I believe photographic prints are an immense. Mira. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> An amazing invention. When we humans look at a scene, we miss something. But in a photograph, things we may have overlooked at the time are recorded forevermore. Hurry up, rookie! What are you trying to say? To inconvenience this poor lady any further would really would be quite inexcusable. Fuck you! Actually, we may need... We may need you to stay with us a little longer, if you don't mind, Miss Pratt. Hey, aku lambat dekat aku punya selalu appointment ni, hey you. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's very clearly visible in this other photograph. Look at this photograph! How did the victim come to have an unusual shape burn on his wrist? The reason is recorded here forevermore. What? Yeah. You can't fool me with your little bluffs, boy. If that's your game, then let's see how it plays out. Show the court exactly what you mean. What is it in this photograph that 
explains the reason for the victim's burn. Ute, Ute. Yas. The beef steak? No. The steak? The steak? The steak? <laughs> Actually, the steak? Chinese, the metal plate the steak was served on. Extra plate? Ah! Let's see. Are you alright? Look Did at you... this photograph. <laughs> Lapo. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. Good. Okay. Even though it's half eaten. As you can see, there's an emblem on the plate. I would guess it's some sort of trademark of La Carnava. I know, I know how to tie Gigi Racist. Ah, what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> this emblem on the plate. I thought it was Hosanaga. And the victims burn. Are exactly the same shape. Rinosuke, you genius. Of course I am. Fuck yeah. <laughs> You're spot on. Which means the victim must have suffered this burn while he was present at the restaurant. But, but even if that is the case, we can't know if it happened on the day in question or not. It could have been the day before, or the day before that. It most likely happened at some other time, unrelated time. Akudaklaba! <laughs> well, um... Hmm. Sadly, Prosecutor Aochi, the chances of that are extremely slim. Thanks. <laughs> Why? The outline of the burn is clearly discernible. What does discernible mean? Uh, it means you can recognize it. Oh. That's a word I do know. Such a serious injury would have caused quite a commotion in the restaurant. Wouldn't you agree, Inspector Hosonaga? He did the point! <laughs> I can't imagine having missed such a terrible disaster, certainly. But, but! No but, but. Don't it, don't it. <laughs> ass, ass. <laughs> I would say, looking at the picture of the wound, that it wasn't suffered very long ago. And. Although it's not a particularly large burn, it's extremely well defined, as the defense just pointed out. This was no mild burn, for sure. Can you be more specific, Inspector? Let's see. If the plate was at around 90 degrees centigrade, a burn like that would have taken around 3 seconds. How, how fucking hot the plate is with fun? <laughs> Hella hot, no, no, because no. they have to cook meat at a certain temperature for it to not have the parasites or some shit, I don't know. Yeah, but after they like, put it on a plate, I don't think it will be that fucking hot, man. When, like, the meat is already half eaten. I don't think she will take a big bite for it. <laughs> I don't know. Haven't you ever had like the hot like clay pots and shit? It yeah, looks it, like one of those. Yeah, it is. But I think the most of the time when halfway is already like not that hot. Hmm. You eat not good clay pot then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know lah, cause I remember eating like uh mushroom, uh like fried rice mushroom clay pot. 
uh-huh. and even after I finished it, the pot was quite hot. Like I couldn't touch it with my fingers. Oh. Okay, next time we're, gonna, know, have, we're gonna have a clay pot dinner. <laughs> yeah, I've prove. been trying to find. I've been trying to find a nice clay pot place, but that mushroom place like died like a long time ago, and I can't find one that's nice enough. Find the one that has steak, so we can test. <laughs> Mistake. Oh, so you're gonna burn a mark on yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You have to film it. Do it for the vine. If they would like to know, they would like to see it happen. <laughs> Real life. Like and subscribe if you want to see Sinapi burn mark herself. <laughs> They'll be posted on Twitter if they do want to see. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> my so hall of fame orang bodoh. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. I've yeah, never I eaten there before. Let me Google. Because I used to eat like this place with my parents. I think they... I even eat about ostrich meat or something. Stone and green. Yeah. yeah it's you be good. fancy. I've yeah. never eaten anything but like the normal ones. Like chicken, fish, beef. And lamb occasionally. I'm yeah. allergic to lamb. I Mostly think. I eat the lamb chop, then chicken, then some is the ostrich, and then there's like a rabbit meat or something. Rabbit meat was satay. Mm. How about unta? Oh yes, camel. Also, yeah, that one also. Wow, I've never eaten any of those. I don't like meat. <laughs> no, it's called it sizzling stone grill, but that one was at at, at my hometown. <laughs> <laughs> At Ch, the hometown. Yeah, but they have like, yeah, it's mostly. Oh my god, it's only in in my hometown. Sad. Wow. All right. Never mind then. <laughs> like, come, come sponsor. To my, come to my hometown. <laughs> sponsor. Or or mm-hmm. bring me in a luggage with you. Uh, That's a reference to the next case. <laughs> That's a reference to the next case, which you will see. Man. If we ever make it there. Okay, if we are able to survive through there. Yeah. It is inconceivable that this victim would have let out a scream of pain then. I've been investigating at the restaurant for several weeks already. But I've not heard anyone scream at all. I mean, it's a hot thing. Of course they scream. I mean, she's, she's dead already anyways, I think. <laughs> why would he scream? Yeah, that, uh, that's why I think he he died already and then burnt himself. As the head waiter of La Carnival, I can testify to that without hesitation. But you... You're a detective, not a waiter! <laughs> He's too immersed in the, in the role. <laughs> role play what? There you have it. Something isn't right here. As the detective said, anyone who burned herself on a piping pot plate for three whole seconds would scream in pain. That would be me, food in the future. <laughs> There's no question of that. Yet, Inspector Hosonaga never heard the professor scream. Not on the day or any before it that's right and the strange thing is on the day he was shot i didn't hear him cry out either what are you suggesting is that did he die from poisoning Ooh. Ooh. well if the professor had carelessly laid his wrist on the plate for anything like three seconds that day that would be beyond close the sighting council. Then the rest of us in the restaurant, myself, the sergeant and all antique dealers. All of us would without any question have heard him scream. Wouldn't you agree, prosecutor Auchi? Huh? Oh, well, yes, I suppose. What if when uh, Rinosuke found a guy, he's already dead by that time? Mm-hmm, probably. So the question is, why didn't a single person hear Dr. Wilson scream? Huh. I... I almost don't believe it. Ryunosuke, do you think... 
can I really be true? Can it really be true? I never dreamed we'd arrive at a conclusion like this, but I'm starting to think that maybe we've been led into a terrible trap. There's only one explanation I can think of to make sense of this apparent impossibility. On the day in question when he suffered the burn to his wrist, Dr. Wilson. <laughs> was asleep. <laughs> he slept like a One Piece character yeah. and didn't notice the burn. Yeah. No man could remain <laughs> silent while his wrist was burning on a piping hot plate for three whole seconds. That's clearly impossible apart from in one particular situation. Council, are you suggesting? Yes, it's only possible if the man was already dead. Uh, dead? Oh my god, she's, she's having a luncheon with a corpse. <laughs> Necrophilia. But she wasn't fucking so it's safe. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that we know now, it's the only possible explanation. When the beef steak was brought to Dr. Wilson's table that day, the professor was already dead. Oh my, what more she did? That's Order! Order! Order, please! Council, explain this absurd notion at once. The victim was killed by a gunshot. Right! Absolutely right, Your Excellency! They're just making it like it's dead from the gunshot. <laughs> this this is just another ridiculous ploy by the rookie student! But clearly he has no grasp of the fact. His voice is so pretty. No, Prosecutor Auchi. It's you who has no grasp of the fact. Your pardon? As soon as it became apparent that the victim had suffered that burn while at the restaurant, this whole case was turned upside down. Or have you not grasped that yet? <laughs> Your Excellency, the court must hear from this witness again. If it's true, as we now believe, the victim was already dead before the gunshot was heard. It's highly likely that Miss Brett knows something about... Incredible. I certainly didn't anticipate this twist of event. Oh God! I'm sorry to say, Miss Brett. That you will have to forget your luncheon engagement. Thank God this judge is like at least smarter than like the rest of them. I was just dumb fuck. I know right, what the hell? But your excellency! <sighs> the justice system in our country may be in its fancy. But rest assured, all reasonable doubt must be dispelled before I am prepared to pass judgment. Thank you, Your Excellency. Hmm. She go loco? No, sad. No, she smiled. What the fuck? There's more for psych psycho. <laughs> yeah. What? What? What was that smile? It's a psycho smell. Oh my god, she's yeah. British. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> Once more. <laughs> what? You didn't hear? Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> yes. Of course. Oh, I'll okay, okay. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I'd be delighted to help. Oh my gosh, she's Japanese now. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if it helps relations between my country and yours. Ah. Ah. 
I mean, she can understand. Of course, she can speak Japanese. Are they dumb? Let's bread. I know, right? You speak Japanese? <laughs> well, of course I do. I am studying in your country, after all. Yeah, this is my response to the people that were Sigma that attacked me. <laughs> <laughs> but then, why have you been speaking through an interpreter until now? Here comes the racism. My mother tongue, the Queen's English, is the most refined and elegant language in the world. As a gentlewoman, I try to avoid speaking in, in your vulgar tones as much as possible. But it seems that the men in this land possess none of the chivalrous virtues of English gentlemen. So I can see that I shall have to lower myself to communicating with you all on your level. Oh! Ah, well... You are the epitome of a true English gentlewoman! <laughs> we are truly honoured by this! This lavish consideration you so gracefully afford us! Fuck you, oh my god, he's like yeah. insulting your language. <laughs> yeah, I see. In that case, Miss Brad, I will not ask you to testify in your own words. Guilty. About, <laughs> about <laughs> the events leading up to the death of victim, Dr. Wilson. Does she even need that mask, man? <laughs> you boy, you. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So, we're finally going to hear her own words on the matter. Finally, British woman accent. <laughs> and now it's getting interesting. <laughs> Things are getting interesting. Oh, you know, scared. He really said it. <laughs> yeah. Boy, I got that is all. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have no idea when the poor man burnt his wrist like that. When the waiter brought my steak, steak? the professor and I raised our glasses in a toast. For steak! As far as I've heard, the post-mortem report showed no po other possible cause of death besides the gunshot. If there's some other way, my, uh, uh, my <laughs> oh, a man's life can be taken without leaving a trace. Please do show me. I don't know what the fuck this accent is. But of course. It's the uh, Harry Potter accent. <laughs> Harry Potter. This I... country's inferior investigative techniques probably wouldn't pick up on it anyway. Fuck you. I mean, it's woman. <laughs> if I stand it, class. The most ah. captivating and beautiful testimony will go down in Supreme Court history. Thank you. Okay, Easy Boomer. Does <laughs> Easy does it. I hope that is the last time I will have to sully my lips with the coarse tones of your unbecoming tongue. Oh, um, forgive me. I do hope I haven't insulted anyone. I mean, she did when she spoke. <laughs> <laughs> not at all, not at all. It is a delight merely to hear you speak, dear lady. How did you just kill yourself? <laughs> <laughs> you are supposed to die of shame right now, uh -huh. Ouchie. <laughs> and it seems very clear from your testimony that this boorish talk of the victim's burn is utterly irrelevant. I will be speaking to your country's Minister of Justice about what has happened here today. The, the Minister of Justice? Segi <laughs> Taiji. 
May that irritating little bully of a student be given the harshest punishment possible. Oi, Inishon, how dare you? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Wasn't it Amen? <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen sounds like Amen. 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 <laughs> Ooh. Amen. <laughs> I just said. Huh? Thanks. Was was that a prayer? Fun. Well, you have to forgive the irritation, Miss Brett, and put up with a cross examination now. Oh, I expect you've noticed that this little bully of a student, as you put it, doesn't miss much. Hmm. I'm sure I don't need to remind you, Council, that this is, will be your final cross examination in this trial. Are we finishing soon? Oh god, fine. I guess so. We're nearing the end. Yeah, let's make ba it through. Idea, actually. <laughs> let's try to make it through. <laughs> okay. We got all day. And then I have to go to a funeral. Yeah, at 2 a.m. <laughs> yes. It's already 2 a.m. Oh, almost, almost. <laughs> almost. Not yet the time. <laughs> <laughs> if you fail to demonstrate any problem with this witness testimony, I will be ruling on the case immediately. Is that clear? Oh my god, the juice is it's like slapping your buttocks. Yow! Oh my god, sorry, it's another beetle. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> yes, you accidentally. Wait. Yeah, what? Sorry, I need to pee. Okay, yeah, sure. we... okay, go ahead. That beetle scared the piss out of me. Oh. Excuse me, do you? I need to pee. Good boy. Yes, Your Excellency. I don't know why I, I said it already, but yes, Your Excellency. <laughs> then you may proceed with the cross examination. <laughs> the victim's death. I already read this, I think. Really? Yeah, this was what she said before this. Oh. 
think this is the part. Does it have to do with the evidence? Yeah, let me see the medical record. Resume 9AB. This is clearly a record of some kind of some kind of medical treatment. And there's an entry for the day the professor was killed. Extraction with the use of anesthesia. Anesthesia? Anesthesia. <laughs> Extraction? <laughs> so we had a two from? Yes. It sounds like just before he went for lunch, Dr. Wilson had to have a decayed tooth removed. I think we read this before. Yeah, we, we did. Because I used saying Anastasia. <laughs> Anastasia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember. I, <laughs> I remember. Yeah. There's a cautionary note at the end for whoever. Blah, blah blah blah. No food or drink other than water for three hours. Post procedure while anesthesia wa wears off. Oh, but he drank carbonated water, right? Yeah. Maybe this is it. I don't remember this part. I mean, like, I remember this part, but I don't remember what the right answer is for this okay. one. Let's just try present. If wrong, we still have four, four chance. Hi. Yeah. Hi. That statement is clearly wrong. Hey, odd. <laughs> I like how he raises his hands. No, judge. I do. <laughs> <laughs> what appears to be odd is what you're presenting yourself. Oh, pay no attention, Your Excellency. Ah, oh, dang it, it's wrong. No! Oh. <laughs> As you wish, now kindly lower your hands. Never, not until I've proven I'm innocent here. Maybe we have to press it first? Oh. Hi. You are leaving a trace. If someone is shot, or strangled, or stabbed, or thrown from a height. Uh, I'm a bit, a, a bit sus on the like, last part. Kau dah bunuh banyak orang ke? She must be an assassin. <laughs> however, a person's life is taken, there are always... Oh, however a person's life is taken, there are always telltale traces on the body. Quite right, dear lady. And, as our police force has thoroughly examined the body of the deceased, there can be no doubt. Isn't that right, Inspector Hosonaga? As I've said, I always aim for a flawless investigation. Hmm, there would be a physical traces with all those cause of death, that's true. But maybe there's some other way of killing someone that doesn't leave a mark. Heaven forbid. You doubt me, man. You're going to have to tell everyone, ev everyone, not everybody, what? How exactly you think the professor di did lose his life? I'm getting in, uh, uh, an aneurysm. <laughs> I mean, he's a lawyer. Why the fuck did he have to solve the case? Again, detective. <laughs> uh, logic no makes sense. Otherwise, I'm afraid your argument falls rather flat, doesn't it? Oh no! Perish the thought! Calling such a sweet young lady's innocence into question? On my honor, I could suit you out, ye. We'll cut down any who dare cast such a Hmm, a way of killing someone that leaves no trace. We need some evidence to back us up here. Yes, evidence. What the hell? Uh, maybe press another statement put. Because we have to say, we have to press until she kind of like slips up maybe. Oh.
Let's do one foot. Yeah. But his hand was on a searing hard plate for at least three whole seconds. You cannot have noticed. Do you think so? Let me ask you something. Sorry? Ever since I arrived at this courtroom, and even still now, the fly on <laughs> those unsightly black trousers of yours has been wide open. She Why the fuck? See them? How, how is your vision? I thought it was blocked by the... Bruh, that thing is like a magnifying glass. <laughs> it's, a, it's a spy spy item. <laughs> okay, then why is she using it? <laughs> you can't not have noticed, can you? Ah! Ah what fun! You hadn't realized. It's a nudist. The dear lady! What? No, nothing. <laughs> the dear lady is absolutely right. As your friend, you've embarrassed me as well. It's yourself, you know. What the fuck? I'm pretty. I mean, it's a bit true. I something forgot to zip it up. Also, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's no big deal. It's not like yeah. his dong was hanging, unless yeah. that's why Kazuma has been staring at him. <laughs> yeah. I'm a coward. Hey! They're talking about it. Why, uh, why let me do this? <laughs> why didn't you tell me? Dr. Wilson was a true English gentleman. He chose honorable silence over vulgar scream. Bro, when you die, you die. Tiny... <laughs> Can your tiny brains imagine such a thing? I don't think even I would die. I won't even like silence when. <laughs> At least like choke or something. I don't yeah. know, right? Yeah. It's not like you want to scream. The fuck? <laughs> what kind oh, of logic? Yes. <laughs> oh yes, I think my tiny brain can. Oh, that open! <laughs> well, I can't! Anyway... Anyway... <laughs> Dodging it anyways... <laughs> she, she, she really did like eat the steak, get, get the professor shot and then went anyway and then just continue. <laughs> She's oh living the luncheon of a British woman life. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, how horrible. Anyway. <laughs> They're like, hmm, this thing isn't that good. Anyway, start to kill these people. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to talk about murder? Yeah. I guess we can press this. What is it? I don't know, because like, she's not giving anything. But, uh, like, you know, she said evidence, so we should have just showed the medical thingy just now. Oh, nee, nee, nee. Oh. Cause, cause we have to make sure they they say the carbonated water, right? Ah, yeah. As you testified before, you were drinking carbonated water, is that right? Doctor Wilson was only permitted to drink water at the time, if you remember. Oh, but you not, know, uh, but not carbonated water. Uh huh. Which explains why he ordered the drink. Correct, waiter. What if it's not him who ordered it? What if it's the Brett who ordered the carbonated water? Hmm. Right? Sus. Exactly as you say, sir. Don't know what the top of the carbonated water is. Although. Although. Whether or not the professor actually drank any of the water. When I delivered this steak onto the to, to, to the table, I'm afraid I don't remember that. <laughs> I remember exactly when each guest drinks their water. I watch all of them. What a good! Oh my god, my face! Tanala, tanala, pagi la kani <laughs> you know what? The way they always watch us drinking a water. <laughs> hmm. Damn you. Mencharo. <laughs> ah, fuck. 
Ah! 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 Enough English to understand that, at least. For the benefit of the others in the court, it means bless you. <laughs> yeah, bless you. Is that what laugh? They bless you. <coughs> That's so funny. Okay, thanks, Auchi. <laughs> For the kids at home. Damn you, means bless you. Now, what did it mean in Japanese then, bless you? Uh, I don't know. Like, damn you. Because they don't really have like a bless you, right? Yeah. She f yeah. It's, yeah. She should shoot to it. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why my brain's just saying oh daijini, but that's not oh, bless you. You <laughs> love daijini, thank you. Kind, I'm just like oh daijini. It's like no something else. Oh daijini. Yeah. <laughs> it's like brain. Come on. I mean shif shifuku or something like have the black bless something. Yeah. Shifuku that's, something. That's... Like shifuku or something. Uh huh. Sh 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 yeah, shifuku. I can't remember the exact word. Yeah. I know the other version is Kofuku. Oh. Whatever. Happiness. Damn you. Mm. I think it means the exact opposite. Yes, you don't just know his English well. Anyways. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Man, if only you can use it called anyways. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess we press the next one. Oh no, but we already we already pressed this one, right? Yeah. Can try press this one. This one already pressed, right? Uh, uh. No right. Yeah, yeah. We yeah we did this one. What do you mean by that? In the lands of the Great British Empire, the police store everything found at the crime scene for later examination. But in this country, you investigate once and that's the end of it. Isn't that so? Quite right. La Carnival is open for business as usual today. After the incident, bet on. Oh, so it's been days. Oh, exactly. <coughs> oh, which means that even if the investigation takes a different dra direction, vital evidence may be lost. It doesn't even occur to your naive detectives to try to preserve the crime scene. Oh, he feel attacked. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> no! I'm trying to be as tactful about this as I can. You understand? I mean, she make a ah! great point though. Like, why the fuck you open a maze when the crime wasn't even solved yet? <laughs> Man's gonna eat. Ah! A killer blow! The lady is as formidable as she is beautiful! Ame oh wait, that's you. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Subarashi. Amazing. <laughs> so guy. He actually admitting our police may be flawed. Perhaps pros prosecutor Auchi is finally starting to see sense. Yeah. I very much doubt that. <laughs> Still. Kazuma takes no shit. Yeah. There's something about what Miss Brett just said. There was a moment before when something didn't quite seem right. Oh, when he when he was coughing. What do you think, Rinosuke? I think it's going terribly. No matter how much I press it, I'm not turning up any new information. Yes, as I suspected. She's a tough witness. 
We need to find a way to break her testimony, or the cross-examination will be over. But, but that would mean I have to find a way. There must be some clue somewhere to help us find a chink in our armor. Kazuma. Ryuke. There is one thing I noticed. Something that's been bothering me. Bothering you? You mean about Miss Brett? Actually, no. About the person standing next to her. Inspector Hosonaga. The detective? Yes, he seems to react a little strange to Miss Brett last statement. I was wondering if it might be significant if I might present an opening, maybe. Hmm. Alright. I have an idea. Try pressing her on that last statement one more time. If you think so, but... But this time, instead of targeting the woman herself, let's see what we can get out of the detective. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wonder what Kazuma's thinking. I'll find out soon enough, I suppose. Once I press Miss Brett on her last statement again. I'm breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> okay, wait, which statement do we press again? <laughs> the last one? Is it? Yeah, I was I was joking. <laughs> oh Trust the loop. Oh blah 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 blah. In the lands of the Great British Empire, the police store everything. Oh, she, be she became ouchy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for later examination. But in this country, you must see one's and that's the end of it, is that so? Quite right. Black Carnival is open for business as usual today. Just stay as after the left. Exactly. I mean, even the investigation takes a very vital experience. I think you can press some. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, never mind. You don't have to press. <laughs> yes, there it is again. The detective reaction is just the same as before. Why? Until now, the detective has been in the stand with Miss Brett as her interpreter. But things are very different now. For this testimony, the detective is just listening to what the Englishwoman has to say. This could be a golden opportunity. Oh, God, no, Kaze. Oh, God damn it. I knew you wouldn't make that reference. <laughs> what do you mean? When people are actually testifying, they're usually very careful not to let anything slip. However, when they're listening to someone else speak, you'll find that they often let their guard down. Right, look at him. He's lost in his own thoughts. It's time to pursue the man and his train of thought. Sorry, pursue? I'll explain how to do it now, Ryunosuke. It's all to do with the witness marker. What marker? Oh my god, breaking the fourth wall again. Yay! <laughs> oh, there you go. At the moment, we're focused on Miss Brett, who's the person actually making the current statement. Wow, breaking the fourth wall as usual. <laughs> oh my god. Kazuma's an alien. But by moving the, the marker death. left and right with left button, right button, you can turn the, your attention to other people in the stand. But it did robot this time. <laughs> While you're looking at the other witnesses, you'll be able to pursue them with a button. If you can catch the person at just the right time, you might uncover some new information to pursue. If you ever notice a strange atmosphere amongst the people on the stand, take a good look around. Alright then, so I should move the marker across with the left button, D button, and the right D button, and focus on the detective. Then pursue him with a A button circle and see what's on his mind. Here we go! 
Exactly. Oh, okay, well, the vital evidence might be lost. Excuse me. What's the meaning of this? I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to shock you. He really was lost in his thought deeply. It looks like you're thinking something just now, Inspector. Perhaps, having heard what the lady next to you had to say. Is there something you'd like to say? Please, share it with the court. Oh, what's the meaning of this? Delightful English woman who is testifying at the moment. If you can't find out fault, if you can't find fault with her testimony, then the cross examination should be over immediately. Oh, no, it's is that how it works? Absolutely not. Huh? The detective is in the stand, which makes him a valid witness. True. Yes, not to mention the fact that he's intimately involved in the case. Inspector Hosonaga. Yes. Do you have something to add in relation to the statement just made by Miss Brad? Yes. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak. <coughs> the lady is right. Our country's police practices are not as modern as those used in Great Britain. Which is why... Satoru Hosonaga... Always strive to make every investigation I'm involved in flawless. Sorry, I'm having sinus. Oh my god. <laughs> Understandable. Why do you? What do you really mean by that? Tell you what I mean. I won't have evidence lacking on my watch. I'm not afraid to take everything I can from the scene of the crime. It's preserving evidence, you see. I don't care if they call me a crime scene thief. I'm not ashamed of what I've done. <coughs> the crime scene thief? Thief. Well, it looks like the lady's remark touched a nerve there. Take this, for example. Is that? Okay, I need to sneeze. Okay. Okay. This is the bottle of carbonated water that I took to the victim's table on the day in question. And yes, it's lost all of its fizz, having been opened three days ago now. It was carbonated water. I don't care what anyone says. I think that's you. Oh, yes, I <laughs> fell asleep. <laughs> oh, yes. Do you want to stop soon? Uh, uh, I mean, we're, we're new. Yes, there's some uh. left in the bottle. I can see it. <laughs> I mean, as long as we can get some of the bits, like, it's like cliffhanger here. Okay. <laughs> One day, our police force will be among the best in the world. The time is coming. I guarantee it. <laughs> oh, you sweet summer child. <laughs> I can see I can't open the business action, but I do understand the sentiment. The car will accept a glass of bottle of water as the evidence. 
have a of water, water, Hmm, Miss Pratt. Can you confirm that is indeed the bottle from which she drank on the day of the victim's death? Yes, it was that bottle. Oh, was that a She seemed to avert her eyes when she answered the judge's question. Very well, Consul. You may resume the process examination. And the inspector will kindly control his fever. Why oh, did you not hear that? Oh no, that didn't. Ah, oh, damn it. <coughs> okay, now to go. So what now? I guess we can present the bottle. Uh, Professor and I raise our glasses in a toast. Are the possible cause cause of death? Maybe oh, it could here? be like the water is like the wine's poison or something. Cause if we drink, yeah, yeah, yeah. In a toast. Okay, this is wrong. Ah, oops. No. I think the statement after could. It's either this one or the one next to it. Because, like, the, 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 like, because she says, what's, what? Other possible possible cause of death, right? Oh. oh. The label is written in foreign language that I don't recognize. Do you know what it says, Kazuma? I think it's French. This must be very expensive water. Yes, but what does it say? What there was I was asking. Then go to France and ask. Oh, <laughs> just say that you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. They're so funny. So this is the carbonated water. It's the last drink of the Wilson and the head. It looks like there's a little left in the bottle. Although it's just plain water now. You know, I've been sweating so much, I absolutely parch. Don't. I'll just have a sip of this to keep me going. No, you know, Skit, you can't do that. For one thing, that's evidence. You can't go drinking evidence. Oh no, you're right. We don't know what might be inside, do we? You never cease to paint amaze me, Rinosuke, in more ways than one. Oh. I wonder, could there be anything in this water? What's the matter? You've gone quiet all of a sudden. I think I might have just worked something out. An interesting possibility. Huh. Poison! Could be. Then maybe you can present it? Because they got the possibility, right? I don't know. Ooh, badge! My personal student number is agree with the back here. If you lose your pain, they won't accept you as a uni student at the university. You may not come. Oh no! <laughs> you may not come in. They say. Of course, you can get a new pain mate if you can tell them your number. I actually lost mine twice, Why? but I still don't know my student number by heart. What the fuck? Bruh, how? I always say to myself, I mustn't forget to write it down somewhere, and then I forgot not to write that. <laughs> ah, he does get. Okay, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, finally. Wait. Post mortem report. Uh, shortly after 2 p.m. Post death single bullet, and no fatal. What is the fatal hemorrhage from petrol ballistic trauma? What does that mean? It means he bled to death 
um, uh, some wound in his uh, chest, which was ballistic, meaning it's a gun. Eh? I thought you died already. Yeah, but this one is the false, uh, false uh, post-mortem because they couldn't check properly. So they're just like, oh, there's a lot of blood. He probably died of being shot because oh. that was the most obvious way. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that post-mortem is not correct anymore. I think we can present the bottle to her statement just now, right? Okay. I think lah. Shit. I don't... Ah! No, I think it's the same thing. Can I skip? Wait. Eh? Oh. They're not making you wrong. What the fuck? No, they just press. Not show evidence. Oh, okay, okay. Luckily for all of us, one little burn is blah blah. There were no other signs of trauma on the victim's body. What the hell is going so fast? It can only be the bullet. What? It doesn't make sense. I, I thought we already read it, that's why I skipped. Oh. I don't think so. Oh. No, oh, the burn mark must have happened straight away when the plate was first brought to the table by the waiter. Oh, because yes. it's like still an anesthetic, like, so he won't feel a thing. Huh. But the anesthetic takkan lah satu badan. I mean, it's the numb of the pain. Huh. So, it can make sense also. Oh, anesthetic doesn't work on me, so I wouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> if it had cooled even slightly, it wouldn't have been able to make a burden like that. Yeah, if the victim burned his wrist on a hot plate as soon as he was brought from the kitchen, then he must already have been dead at that point. But he was saying, reading him anyway, so. That the victim was killed by a gunshot to the chest. Until you are able to show the court evidence to disprove that. This is a complete waste of time. Michael, cool. Prosecutor Alti is right. Oh. And no one's seeing anything, so. Tala. So. Try the bottle? This one? Yeah. Shall I pull you? I don't know. I don't remember. Finally, something good. <laughs> what is this? The bottle of water. My turn to book on you. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't bonk me. I only I can bonk you. <laughs> Actually, there is one method of killing a man without leaving a trace that comes to mind. She knows. Da, da, da. Obviously, I'm referring to poison. 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 One the day of his death, we know that Doctor Wilson drank from this bottle of carbonated water. Could it be there was a poison inside? Could it be the professor actually died after taking a sip from his glass? Order, order, order. And on that day, he was sitting at the same table as the professor and he was able to slip the poison into his drink. There's only one person who could possibly have done it. Zale bread, it was you. Mm. This is outrageous to suggest such a thing without a scrap of evidence. 
you little rookie imbecile. Have you even considered the delicate situation our country finds itself in now? Have you forgotten that we only have just signed an accord of friendship with the British Empire? It's the British Empire, not the lady. <laughs> have you even the vaguest inkling that your rash accusations could jeopardize the entire treaty? He's anger. This is not a political arena. This is a trial to determine one's in one individual's guilt with respect to one crime. Oh, ah. The fact that this woman is British makes no difference. We are here to determine the truth. Ah, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> If I may. No, you're not. <laughs> I will silence you forever. For Shut up! It is you who should be silent. But no, you just say so <laughs> Oh, of course. Dear lady. Where did it come from? She she just snapped. Yay! When people snap, it's the end. I'm afraid I may have spoken unfairly before. I offer my most humble apologies. <gasps> I jumped. <laughs> <Bruh. I'm> so <laughs> I almost choked on my skin though. I'm sorry, my lady. <laughs> To what are you referring? I described your police force inferior. But no matter how inferior they may be, you still investigated this particular point thoroughly, I believe. The bottle, I mean, Inspector. And whether it contained poison or not. Of course. You, you did? I've forgotten what my guiding principle is already. Flawless! I strive for a flawless investigation every time. I don't believe it. Naturally, we tested the inside of the bottle and its contents. And what did you find, Inspector? I ordered tests for every toxin that's available in this country at the present time. We could find no trace of poison of any description in the bottle of carbonated water, Your Excellency. What? Are you sure? The tests were meticulously carried out by Chief Coroner himself. No. Very grateful to all you Japanese. You've successfully established my complete innocence in this horrid affair. How about the Japanese itself? <laughs> Thank you. But, but of course, dear lady, the pleasure was all ours. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> I was so sure. This, this can't be people. right. Ah, I've been possessed! <laughs> Where is me, Kotoba Sensei? I don't have a grab lagi. Kena jalan. Everything falls into place if he was poisoned. Thank you, Council. I think that cross examination have clarified everything. As pros prosecution have asserted. A shot to the chest from this gun is the only conceivable cause of death. Furthermore, I mean, they could check the bullet inside, like whether it's shot or not. I don't know if they have like uh, what the ballistic fingerprints back in the day. No, I mean like see the I... run of shot that was shot from the gun. Ah, oh, but it could be like taken out and refilled. 
I mean like if like that thing been shot, there should be like one or two missing from the shot. Let's say if he doesn't use anything of the gun. Yeah. I'm done for. The court wishes to apologize to the great inconvenience this has caused you, Miss Brett. Oh no. I'm just glad the matter is resolved. Therefore, proceeding, I must ask the council for the defense. Do you have any further new evidence to present the court at this time? I'm sorry, Rinosuke. I have nothing more. Well, if you'll excuse me now, I really must be leaving. Okay, someone's gonna go, gonna appear, someone's gonna be appearing. Someone <laughs> must be appearing. <laughs> I know you! <laughs> What is the meaning of this? Forgive me for intruding on court proceedings, Your Excellency. Susato Mikotoba, Judicial Assistant to the Defense. Oh, I know you. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, Doctor. Mikotoba? My doctor's hour with nowhere left to go, she appeared like a bolt of lightning. And I and in her hand she carried a small package wrapped in a Furoshiki cloak. And we're getting to the safe point. <laughs> I think uh, yeah. TBC 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 Is it that that was the near the end one? No, this is like the second half. I mean, like, at least another one hour. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so, but the fucking English woman lah, dia tak nak mengaku gila. So, it's like rotating, rotating, rotating lah. Yeah, like, just now kan kena press banyak kali until, like, like some tiny slip up. And uh. then baru boleh kopi. Yeah, a lot of that. I think. Mengadunya. <laughs> Memang annoying gila. This is lady ah. Like, it's like, I think part 4, is it? Is it the part 4, the, the last one? Or is it part 5? Uh, I think they have 4 or 5 cases. No, I mean like this trial like part. Like, beside, like beside the episode lah. Oh, part episode. 3. I think it may be part, part 4 last quote. Ah, uh, which is the next one lah after this. Yeah, yeah, it's closing, tapi the closing pun lama juga. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that one maybe we can continue on the next stream, which is tomorrow lah, if you're okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, tengok dulu kot, because yeah. Monday kan I ada kerja. Yeah, I mean, like, try a bit earlier lah, if you can sleep a bit earlier before you sleep. <laughs> Depend lah, if you're sure. free lah, if you're free. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, get back with you on that. Yeah, yeah, I think we will stop. Yeah, because if not, I'm gonna doze off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you dozed off like a few times already, right? <laughs> like to suddenly, Ayo. Like, suddenly like quiet. <laughs> like what happened? Get your head in the game, Troy Bolton. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> Okay. Ooh. I think. Any, anything you want to say to the viewers before we close up? Nothing. I am excited to see uh, or to uh, basically trash the racists. <laughs> I mean, basically they're all racist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like the racists are Auchi and the fucking Giselle. Yeah, I'm not. Auchi's like plain annoying though. Like, I'm gonna <laughs> He's a self-racist. Fuck you. Yeah, it's like, uh, yeah. Uh, whatever to the British lady saying, I'll lose support. <laughs> Even though it means trashing my own country. <laughs> I don't respect. Take off your baju right now. You don't deserve to be wearing traditional garment. Kan? Yes, I will. Damn you. Which means bless you. 
<laughs> I understand that. It means bless you. <laughs> How you make mistake. <laughs> for steak. I love how this first episode is all about for steak. Yes, we all talk about the steak. The steak. Yeah, I think that <laughs> is all for today. So that's it from yeah. us, the Beef King. Uh, this is me, Beef King Senapi, and with my partner, Chicken Eye Eye, signing out. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Good night. Thanks for watching. We love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. It's three hours. Woo! Yeah, and also we all upload the part two on the YouTube or you guys can catch up on the part one as well on the YouTube if you're interested to follow the journey yeah. of us being a gay ass lawyer. <laughs> yeah! Gay lawyers for the win. Uh, that's you. Okay, bye. Bye! <laughs> bye! 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 Bye!